Hey, what's up everybody? This is Damron. I'm playing Gears 5. We're doing the escape maps in Gears 5 on Master Difficulty. We're playing Lethal Engagements this time, which is part of Operation 3. Obviously, we're doing these with no exploits, straight up the way they're supposed to be done. So let's look at the modifiers in this particular mission. We got Ultra Stopping Power, which is going to stop you a little bit more when you get shot. Heads up, enemies take less damage from non-headshots. We also got Shock Rifle Drones, which cause uh, shock to chain from you if you get hit by rifle drones and they also got vampiric on which when you get damaged by an enemy it actually returns them some of their health some of the usual suspects obviously the enemies are doing more damage they have more health but noticeably on this map on master difficulty there is no iron man so if you die you'll be able to restart at your safe house if you make it to the uh you know the safe room halfway and then if someone dies you will be able to pull them out of a pod on this mission on master so that's really good um, so let's get right into this mission as soon as you open the first door you're gonna have two enemies in front of you sometimes they're both snipers sometimes you're gonna have a hunter just go ahead and silently take them out so you don't have to worry about wasting any ammo when you come around this corner here the enemy setup in front of us is gonna be different um, depending on how you come in in this particular setup they noticed us but a couple of the enemy setups when you enter this room here they'll actually be facing away from you and you can walk up here and actually assassinate all of those enemies if you get to spawn where they notice you as soon as they come around the corner don't worry about it let's all get up in there and work on our triple melee kills against these enemies as i mentioned in a previous guide the triple melee is critical on master difficulty again just with the melee melee and then hold melee you'll stun them and then you can execute them after that so we're going to go into this ammo room here be sure you pick up all this ammo we really want to boost our sniper uh, sniper rifle up whoever picked up the sniper rifle really wants a lot of ammo and everybody wants to try to get sniper rifles or precision weapons on this map because of that heads up modifier really shooting them anywhere other than head is practically useless so we want to get headshots and we want our headshots to be high damage so you're taking them out in one shot now if you have the helmeted enemy spawn here with grenadiers uh, you know you want to use a pistol or something a marksa to get the helmet blown off you don't want to waste you know your precious sniper rifle ammo shooting them just to knock the helmet off so let the pistol or marksa do that and then you can clean them up with the sniper or the marksa ammo so this mission is you you know one of the things that's really important about this mission is pace and accuracy you really have to keep moving because the venom's pretty quick and we're gonna fight quite a bit of enemies that we really can't run past because of the design of the level if you don't take them out they end up shooting you in the back so you really have to keep your pace up um, in order to not get caught up by the venom but we also need to maximize accuracy the only way we're gonna maintain pace is by getting headshots now after you clear that first room a couple different scenarios are going to happen there like us if you fought the grenadiers you're good to move into the next room which again is going to have some hunters some grenadiers and a scion if you were fighting snipers and no grenadiers in that previous room wait at the top of the ladder that we jumped down because a sire is going to attack you so you're going to want to melee that sire down and that brings us to a critical point is what characters we use to tackle this mission and that's lizzie Cole and Baird. Okay, we've got Lizzie, which we really need. We need to use her silver back later on in the mission. But Cole is very critical to take out the sires and any sires that you may come across. And he's very critical for the very last room before the exit. So those are critical. We found Baird to be very helpful. That that character can be a little bit variable, but we found Baird to be very helpful because we were able to use his ultimate, the DR1, to kind of block the end a little bit and not have the enemies come out out into the you know rescue chopper area so those are the characters that I recommend now when we're in this area if you had the sire spawn at the that came up the stairs you won't have that scion okay so that scion will be there if you had the same spawn set up that we did and you're gonna want to clear this room out it's very critical that you clear this room out you can 
go on to the right side of the room and just run past all these enemies and jump down the slide up here but if you do that on master difficulty you need to spend time at the top of the bridge and in the next section kind of clearing out that next section and what will happen is these guys these hunters or these snipers up here will actually be able to shoot you in the back so you want to take the extra moment and clear out these enemies here so you're seeing us do that we're kind of working around again we are utilizing pace pace is very very important in this level i can't stress that enough so we're going to clear out this you see we really got in the fight there cleaned them up and now we can go down this slide but we want to go down the right hand side in order to land into this area here in which we can go into the ammo room on the right now what you want to do here is you want to have one uh two people maximum really load up on sniper rifle ammo okay and that's going to be me in this scenario i'm going to pick up as much sniper rifle ammo as i can and hopefully get into the next section and that's where we're going to be you're going to see me at the top of the bridge here and my buddies are going to go across the bridge now if you didn't kill the people that we just went past the people would have a shot on me in the back so now i have shots down on these guys right here it's a little it's not as effective in this particular spawn because we have a lot of claws and the claws can take you so fast but if you look down over the bridge you can see those enemies are going to my to the left there and they're going up a little walkway that's where your two allies are so my buddies have crossed the bridge and they're watching those stairways which is allowing me to stay up here and try to snipe or take down the health of some of the enemies that are down here you may not kill them all because you know not like i got the headshot on that elite drone and it killed him but then i instantly got down but again pace look how fast this venom is caught up to us it's really because you got to take out these drones so eventually you want to crack as many headshots as you can and you're on to the next section and you're wondering well you have your ultimate here lizzie use it right here i highly recommend that you don't do that okay what we found is saving lizzie's ultimate to the last possible moment is the way to get past the ending section of the first section of lethal engagements all right the the, the part before the first safe room once this venom has caught up to us now cole we've killed as many as we could with our guns okay so now cole hits his ultimate he's going to clean up the elites and the drones that are in that area and now we can advance up to the final room that's before the safe room this is where you want to use lizzie's ultimate Okay, your, your allies, in our case, Baird and Cole, they've gone up to the left, and they're using that left-hand side for cover because there's not any enemies up there, and you want Lizzie to take out these Scions and as many enemies as you can. If you use your, your Lizzie's ultimate prior to this section, honestly, there's just too many drones and too many enemies to take out with guns before the venom will catch up to you. And these scions and all these hunters and all these enemies, which are a bunch of them, a bunch of them are just gonna cause you too many problems. So do as much damage as you can with Lizzie. And now you've got where Lizzie was. Hopefully people are dead or almost dead. And now from my, where I, you know, to my left is where my buddies are. They're coming in and finishing the fight. So now they're gonna come down here. I got downed here. Unfortunately, you may not. If you're able to clean up uh, you know, most of the enemies you can actually do okay so they just dropped the flash grenade on the buzzkill scion revive and boom we're to the door you cannot make this run without killing some of those drones or the majority of those drones and snipers it's just too much with the scions and the drones so you really need to use lizzie's ultimate and your goal isn't really to kill everyone your goal is to bring down the number of enemies so let's go ahead and advance here you know we'll cut past you know the safe room you can stock up in ammo here again on this map on master difficulty that'll actually be a checkpoint for you right because iron man is not on so you'll be able if you die we're going to be able to restart in that checkpoint so keep that in mind so no worries now we're on to the second half of this particular escape map and two things are going to happen as soon as you enter this room you're either going to have a scion to deal with or you're going to have a stump all right ideally you want to deal with a scion here which will put the stump at the end of the level that's the ideal situation and that's kind of what we've run into here in that scenario take your time you've got a little bit of time here try to get maximize your headshots on the drones get them cleaned up and then get the scion off the board once you get the scion off the board and a few of the early drones and sniper drones in the early section right here you'll be able to advance down and utilize our triple 
melee a little bit better. So you can see we're this is an area where we are taking our time just a little bit. We want to clear up uh, this buzzkill and a couple of those front drones because if you advance further, actually more drones will enter the picture. So you're going to see that as we you know jump over this wall. As you go down, there's actually more drones on the top of the back of this room and they can sometimes enter the fight. So uh, there's an example of the shock ability that's on this map. You know, you may get damaged from a, sh a bullet, but that shock damage can actually finish you off um, just from the electrocution damage, I guess, that you're receiving from the shock bullets. So now we're just kind of cleaning up. You know, don't hesitate to use your ammo in, that sec in this section. There is an ammo room right at the end. So you're gonna see that, again, if you ran back here, these are the enemies I was telling you about. You don't want these guys, you know, coming down into the fight. So let's go ahead and clean them up. Oh, or get down. Oh my gosh, we almost wiped here. Oh yeah, they want to join up now, baby. Alright, so we're, we're just going to run by here. Alright, so on to the next area. So we've got as much ammo as we can. Um, and this area is not too bad, okay? As soon as you come in, go ahead and see if you can get a shot on the guy that's across the way. He's always going to be there. He may not be a hunter. Um, but this, this room right here can be challenging in the sense of the angles that you're at and the angles sometimes these enemies will duck and you just can't get shots on them and you're gonna have to push the pace if that happens if they're not pulling up and you're not getting the headshots and you're not clearing out enemies quickly you're probably gonna have to get up in there and trying to get your melees in because we don't have time to wait you can see the venom coming up on us again I was trying to get into the action there start getting into melees and I got crossfired so that's not good I'm gonna crawl back to my enemies here but the thing about this room is that you have them across where I was trying to just go and you can see where my buddies are they're on the other side of this wall here that's actually a second entrance into the same room and it goes around um, the back of this kind of circular structure so you can either go to the right of it where I was or to the left which I'm looking at now and that's where they're at and enemies are actually coming on both sides so you want someone where I'm at kind of watching this side and you really only need one person here ideally so where I've got to now and you can kind of shoot along this hallway and then you want two people on the other side the reason you want two people on the other side is because the enemies tend to go that way you're gonna have more enemies going that way than the way that I just came from um, so there's you know there's a solid eight or so drones just in this room and that can be a lot to deal with quickly again headshots and pace so we've got to move quick through that section and then we're actually on to the final room of the level and this is hard okay this is the most challenging room uh, the reason you wanted the scion first and the stump later is because if the stump is in this room we can actually clear out everybody else and then just run past the stump and that's the easiest strategy to get through this room so we got me and Baird on the right now Cole has gone to the left you want Cole to use his ultimate first you're gonna see it boom boom he gets into the fight malicious tearing him up um, so his goal is nothing to do with the stump he wants to eliminate as much drones as possible uh, Cole's likely going to go down in that scenario because once his ultimate over, there's still going to be a bunch of drones. Okay, still a bunch of hunters and a couple snipers and things like that to deal with. Now, if you don't have the stump, if you actually had the stump in the first room and you got past it, instead of the stump here, you're going to have more scions. And those scions are just a little bit harder to run around because our strategy here was to kill all of the drones, the grenadiers, and snipers. That's what we wanted to do. We don't even care about the stump. We're gonna leave him here, because he's so slow, he's never gonna run through the final door of the level, right? So if we can just clear out all the drones and then pick everybody up that kind of survived that craziness, and now we're just gonna run past the stump. 
and we don't have to worry about him anymore. He's not going to be able to come to the exit. So we're just leaving the stump there. Now we're going to hit that switch. This is where we like to use Baird's ultimate. Uh, Baird's ultimate, you'll see him pop it in the middle a little bit later, uh, tends to keep the enemies at bay because they kind of start fighting him. So you're going to see that here. They're, they are kind of focused on the DR1, and they're fighting him and not really advancing for one reason or the other. And we're just keeping our headshots on them, trying to keep them at bay. Um, if you picked up any grenades or any flash grenades, now's the time to use them. Uh, but, you know, using this strategy, Cole and Lizzie are out of the ultimate. So you're really relying on Baird's ultimate here. Hopefully, um, if you're lucky, one, maybe two or three people get out. No more than that. So that's the end of Lethal Engagements. It is a pretty tough escape map on Master Difficulty. I'm not going to lie. It's very challenging. But using these strategies, hopefully they'll help you guys get through it. I hope you guys are liking my channel. If you like my stuff, as always, feel free to like and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next escape map of Gears 5 on Master Difficulty.